Welcome to the Muxall Open IoT channel. I am your host, Michael Crane. Okay, so for our next step, I labeled it step 10, uh, is going to be um, connecting the power. This is this step is going to actually incorporate a couple things. I kind of labeled them over here. We're going to uh, connect the power, uh, download software, and configure Carbide Motion 4. And uh, also we're going to do some of the homing. And there are, there are revisions to this. So uh, we'll just go through it real quick. Uh, connecting the power. This is a pretty much a no-brainer. Just pull it out of the box. It's like a little PC power supply, plug a power cord into it, and then flip it on. <laughs> that's, that's pretty much it. I'm, I'm not going to go through that. Downloading the software. The only note I had about this, it says oh, revised on page 16. Okay, so uh, make sure to download and install the most recent version of Carbide Motion 4, 4.0.431 or later. So, yeah, this is the latest one that I found, uh, .431. And uh, it said it was for Windows 8 and above. Well, my laptop is a Windows 7 machine, but it went, it went ahead and installed uh, 4.0.4.31. Okay, but I, I haven't tried running it yet, so <laughs> I might have to use an older version. We'll, we'll see. There was a, uh, there was a note about about it later on that we'll see that we might have a problem because of the Z plus if this uh, new software won't run. Anyway, I just thought I'd let you know. I'll let you follow these instructions. I didn't install this carbide create. We might have to for the uh, test program, uh, but we'll see when we get there. Okay, here's all the parts laid out. USB cable, a power cord with a, what is that? EIG, I always forget what these things are called. And, uh, and part M. <laughs> I'm sure that's the power supply in there. Okay. Uh, if you're wondering about my computer setup, I thought I'd give you a little a little view of it. I just got a an old working folding table out, put it next to the Shapeoko bench, and um, I went ahead and connected the power slot supply up. I kind of taped the, the on-off switch down to the table so it wouldn't move. I plugged in the uh, good heavens. <laughs> uh, it's keyed, so you can only get it in one way. And uh, there you go. It looks like it's powered on, doesn't it? Um, okay, well, it was powered on already, so. <laughs> uh, it, by the way, it doesn't make any noise other than that light, so it's uh, whisper quiet, which is not normal for uh, CNC machines. Okay, so, um, yeah, uh, it just tells you, we can look at these steps, but, it, you know, we connected the power supply. There's a green LED on the power supply that'll light up. Yep. And uh, then flip the inline rocker switch uh, to the on position. And uh, it says you will hear the motors begin to hum and a blue LED on the controller unit will be visible. Well, we saw the blue LED, but I sure didn't hear any humming. Uh, let me turn it back on. Uh, well, if they hear humming, they're <laughs> if they hear humming, they're better man than I am because I don't hear anything. Yeah, maybe I maybe a, a just a teensy tiny bit, but I'm out here in the shop. It's it's not very quiet out here. Don't forget, you can support the Muxall Open IoT channel by donation using a credit card and PayPal or by purchasing products at the Muxall store. Details and links are in the description under this video. Well, that's it for this video. If you liked the video, give it a big thumbs up, that helps, and hit the subscribe button, that really helps. If you have any questions or comments, post them in the comments under this video. Thanks for watching and I'll see you next time.